science. Amazing subject, right? Wait, don't stop listening to me speech because I said the word science. I know that many of you might be thinking that this is going to be a boring science lecture. If you are thinking that, you are wrong. Think of me as all of your friend who once loved playing and thought studies were boring, especially science. But here I am today, taking all of you on the journey towards the science in the most fun and playful way. Hello everyone, I am Niranjan and my topic is science behind sports. Have you ever had a debate in a class? I had a one about one year, about two years ago. Every single classmate in my classroom was debating on what is better, studying or playing. Everyone in the class stood up yelling at each other and they were unstoppable. Until ma'am came and they were as quiet as mice. After school hours at home, I kept on thinking about the debate. After some time, when I had thought enough and I couldn't come with a conclusion, I consulted Google and it said, Yes, studies are more important than sports. There will be only few lucky people who earn their livelihood due to sports, even though they did not complete their education. Studies were the base of your career building and not the sports. We should participate in sports to keep us healthy. Maybe it was true, maybe it was not. I was confused and so I decided to do some research. I was determined to find a satisfying answer. The first thing I did was to study topics which were related to both sports and studies. Because this was the only way I could prove my points without proving others wrong. And the only two-way bridge between the studies and sports was science. The subject sports science made me more curious by every minute. And this was how I decided to speak about it on TED platform today. From then on, when anybody was talking about or playing sports, I was all ears. Every cricket match, football match, badminton tournament, swimming championship, or even inter-school running race. It was a whole new learning experience for me. And now I would like to share a few bits of that experience with you all. Badminton. The cork of the badminton is made in such a way that whenever we hit, it always turns like this. When we hit, it turns like this. There is also a cone-shaped gap in the which facilities this is and also stops the cock to go forward. That's the only reason why the cock turns back when we hit. Swimming. Swimming is a very unique sport because we can neither hear nor see anyone near us. You know why we float on water? It is because of our lungs. They act like a balloon and we float. As we know that as we know, things which are less dense than water will float on it. Of course, we are not lighter than water. Our lungs are. Biology, physics and chemistry. Sports is a mixture of all including math. Isn't, the, isn't this gets interesting? There, there, are lot, there are loads of examples. Consider one. Imagine that you are playing a football tournament and there is a last minute penalty shot that makes your team win or lose. But everyone debates on who will take the penalty shot. After some time, all, finger all fingers at you and you have no choice but to shoot. As you move forward, take a shot with your heart in mouth and, and goal! Everyone dances in happiness. Now, I just want you to think from the starting moment to the end moment. You must have thought something before like shooting, like, like there is more space uh, in the right, so the goalkeeper wouldn't be able to defend there. Now here also science comes in you and your mind tells you that there is more space at the right. So you can, he must not reach there and you might shoot there, right? So that it becomes a goal. If you don't study, you wouldn't uh, score a goal also, right? Not only a football example, but at other games too, there is science. And you must be thinking how. Let me tell you how. Now, flamers 
players have unique tricks like curving a football. Let me show you how. This is a football. It spins this way and it curves and uh, goes, uh, goes to the goal. This is the bit of the, this is a bit that it applies in every sports. This is the best and this is called spin. Let me also tell you a leather ball trick called swing. This is the rough side of the ball. This is the shiny side of the ball. Because this is the rough side, the air flow becomes low and the ball bends. And in this, in the smooth side, the ball, so it is very fast. The air flow is fast. So the, the ball bends on the rough side. The ball swings. So the next time you are playing any kind of sport, keep these points in mind. But let me warn you. Fitness, exercise, diet and practice will always be a huge contribution factors. There is also a cheating trick I would like to tell you. But before I tell you, I advise you not to try this at any important match. Because this is cheating. Which is that if you take a cock, fold it inwards. And then if you just hit, the, the cock will go more faster than before. I have tried it. I am tired of researching all the time and also after learning you must in any other subject you must have a homework right. So today's homework is that you have to guess the science behind this phenomenon of the cock. A big thank you to my family, friends and my guide throughout the TED, throughout the TED the journey. My TED advisor and thank you TED for giving me a such a thrilling opportunity. And lastly thank you to all patient audience for listening to my talk. Thank you.